Hey everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lisa Monique. Today's video, and then I will be putting a series of videos that are going to be a little bit different from my regular content. I am going to discuss my rotator cuff surgery and my recovery. So I am two weeks post-op right now, but this video is going to be day zero. This is going to be um, from about four hours after my surgery uh, through the evening and I will be uploading some more videos uh, showing my recovery and my journey. Now, I did not film every single day during my recovery. I, I tried to a little bit every day that first week, but even then, some days nothing exciting happened, so I just started keeping a video diary. So on those days, I will be referring back to my diary and actually just coming like this and talking about uh, some of the um, things that I did on the recovery and some of the things that I thought helped me. Some things I think are specifically towards being a woman and a smaller, a petite woman and dealing with this horrible um, abduction <laughs> pillow. Uh, and uh, some of the things will be just more general uh, surgery recovery um, information. So let's go ahead and get into the day zero video. This is probably going to be my longest video. I had a full tear on my supraspinatus tendon, I guess that is. Uh, they also took my bicep and, and moved it over a little bit um, from where it was being worn. Um, they cleaned out some bone spurs. I think they said they might have done something with bursitis, but I don't really remember because this was all pre-surgery that the doctor was telling me what they thought they were going to find. Um, but of course, you can find different things afterwards. So I'll probably have to talk with them uh, to see exactly what they ended up doing. But I'm about four hours post-surgery. As soon as surgery was over, I... Um, came home. We had bought a recliner uh, for the surgery. I have all, all kinds of stuff sitting here just in case um, I need it. I also have a little end table here where I've got my Kindle and um, my laptop. And then on the left side, because surgery was on my left arm, which is my dominant arm. I am left-handed, so I am having to learn to do everything uh, with my non-dominant hand. But I do have a cold therapy, this one's an Arctic ice uh, machine. And so I bought it specifically because it had the shoulder pad. Most of the uh, cold therapy machines had a knee pad. I almost wish I tried the knee pad because the shoulder pad is really big. Uh, I haven't had to try and put it on my arm yet because I did have a nerve block, so I really don't feel anything don't feel anything at all. My fingers are just, they're warm, but it, it's a dead hand attached to my body. It's very, very strange feeling. Uh, but I have been leaning on this pad because one of the things that kept me awake at night and I had very difficult sleeping was that muscle going all across the shoulder blade or, you know, maybe even under the shoulder blade, but it, it actually irritated on the shoulder blade. If I put any pressure on it, it would keep me awake. Um, so laying flat on the bed and things like that, um, it was difficult to get comfortable. A lot of times I would put pillows to recline and just make sure pillows weren't pushing on that shoulder blade. Well, when I woke up after surgery, first thing I felt was that same ache in the shoulder blade. I was so disappointed. I kept, you know, looking forward to the surgery so that ache would be gone and I would be able to sleep, but it's still there. I don't know if it's because my, and, and it's there without any pressure on it. So I don't know if it's because my arm is kind of pulled forward a little bit more um, and it, you know, it's kind of tightening the pressure on that muscle, but it's very disappointing. I mentioned it to the nurse that I was like, you know, that it was achy. And um, she said uh, that when I talk to the doctor tomorrow, I'm might mention it and he may prescribe like a muscle relaxant or something. She said, because the painkillers aren't going to get rid of that, but the muscle relaxant might make that feel better so I could sleep at night. 
as far as drugs, they sent me home. They said I was going to have two prescriptions and based on my post-surgery instructions, I believe it was supposed to be Percocet and Oxycodone. Uh, but when my husband went to pick my prescriptions up, it was just the Oxy, which I really don't like taking Oxy. Um, but they did give me one before I left the hospital. The next dosage is, I think, around now. <laughs> um, There's supposed to be 8 p.m., and I think it's almost 8 p.m. now. You know, I, I certainly don't need it because I don't feel anything, but uh, I, I will take it. Now, I also feel like my arm is moving more in that downward motion, and I thought she wanted it up a little bit. So I'm going to have to kind of adjust the brace so that my hand is a little bit more like this than like this. So we'll see. But again, day one, no pain. Now, one of the exercises that my uh, doctor did give me was I'm supposed to take off the brace, kind of lean on, you know, a table or some, a chair or some piece of furniture and just have my hand hanging down so my elbow doesn't get stiff. And then I can move my body, rock my body, um, not moving my shoulder, uh, just to kind of keep that joint loose. And I'm supposed to do that several times a day, you know, starting today. So after I film this video, I think I will uh, try to do my first um, exercise. Besides laying on this while I was sleeping in the chair, I did have an ice pack that they sent me home with just up here to prevent swelling. So we'll see how well that works. He's also sending me home with a, or sending me a new chair tomorrow uh, because I guess when I was losing that range of motion uh, this past month on my arm, uh, it gave me a frozen shoulder. I'm not sure how he could diagnose fr frozen shoulder while he was in there, but he said I was getting a frozen shoulder, which makes sense because like I said, I, I or did I say, I filmed this a couple of times, uh, but while I was gone, I lost the ability to, you know, lift my arm at all during this, from the shoulder. So I was kind of doing everything with my left hand like this, or I would prop it up, you know, lift it with my right hand, prop it up. Uh, so I guess I have frozen shoulder. I'm going to get some special chair. I'll tell you about it when it comes. Uh, I don't really know what that is. Okay. I just reread my notes and the chair or whatever they're sending me home with is a CPM machine, continuous passive motion machine. And so when I get it, I'm going to have to use it at least four to six hours a day for two to four weeks. It's a little stretcher. So I guess I'm going to put my arm in the CPM machine and it's going to help stretch my arm. So that will be interesting, but I will document that. When otherwise, so far, so good. Uh, day one, and I really haven't done anything. I haven't eaten yet. Uh, so again, 8 p.m. I haven't eaten since yesterday, but I'm not really that hungry. But I have my very supportive husband uh, ready to fix me something uh, when I need it. And uh, I think my daughter's going to come by today too. So um, yeah, so far so good. Feeling good. I did get up to grab my little stick that I was using before surgery to kind of poke that muscle. Before surgery, I did hold on to it with my left hand and then kind of really got in there with my right hand, um, which I can't do right now. So it's not as effective. I'm just doing it with one hand, but I'm still trying to rub that shoulder. Yeah, my throat doesn't really hurt that bad. I mean, I can tell I had something down it, just a little bit sore, but um, yeah, it doesn't hurt that bad, which I've had it hurt a lot worse after anesthesia. And I think that's it. I felt just slightly nauseous after surgery. Um, so I do have my little nausea bag with me, but I pretty much came home, climbed into the recliner, fell asleep for three hours. <laughs> so um, that's what I've been doing. 
but I'll just let you know how things are going uh, as the day and night progresses.